Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So, for today's video, of course, I'm still going along with the month of October because I'll be talking about nothing but spooky stuff, obviously. It's my favorite genre, it's my favorite time of the year, so here we go. Of course, it's going to be something fairly obscured. I like low budget stuff anyway, so there you go. It's a blast from the past, so here we are, I reckon. Anyway, the film we're talking about is. Yes, yeah, this one, folks. Oh, definitely. Ha, 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 ha. It's okay. And, I mean, it gets somewhat obscure. It does have one of the well-known actors in it, so that's something. Well, it's, it's low budget, and it's from the past, so that's something. Anyway, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go. So, in 1860, there was this individual named Edward is accused of being the notorious strangler who brutally killed five women by partly strangling them with one hand before stabbing them to death, I guess you would say. So there was that. Of course, since around that idea, so there's some weirdo out there. So there was this researcher who was investigating this notorious serial killer who has been hanged 20 years earlier. So, so yeah, let's just say somebody becomes possessed by the long dead individual. So it's like one of these supernatural type of a horror movies. So there's a bit of crime, drama, and mystery thrown in a story, I guess. So that's definitely something. All right, gotta have some conflict in there somehow. Because as I mentioned before, if there's no conflict, then there's no drama. If there's no drama, then there's no story. And if there's no story, then why the hell should I care? Anyway, so yeah, this individual, then this inv individual was investigating this execution of the serial killer, and yeah, he's just some, he just becomes an unfortunate individual that, be, that he becomes possessed by this one individual, by this bad person, I guess. So there's there's that. Anyway, so anyway, ultimately, I can definitely say that this wasn't too bad, I suppose. I did like the story. I liked the way it was handled, of course. Anyway, the thing is that this is a horror film. It was based upon a, a story, I guess you can say, which the screenwriter had written specifically for... Uh, so an actor, Karloff, of course, Karloff does a really good job here. Of course, he's never the villain here, as he often is, of course. And I, I, I like the story here. I like the way it was done for this kind of story, of course. It's a pretty crazy story, as it should be, because the story in this movie should be wired. Because when you think about it, it should be, of course, crazy, it's weird. It's really out there, of course, I guess, but still, I guess it's going to have the supernatural element to it, of course. And yes, of course, it's one of these types of movies I just thought I would just give it a review, of course. I guess that's the thing, though. I tend to like the old movies anyway. I do like the old films anyway. They don't, they don't seem to have the same kind of charm, that's for sure. There's lots of crazy moments. There's a lot of bizarre moments I want to talk about in this movie, but still, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to, I guess, in other words, I don't want to have a spoiler. I don't want to spoil stuff, really, though I've done it before, but still. So anyway, let's just say that this is definitely a movie that does uh, fit the mood for this kind of thing if you want to watch it on Halloween. I mean, I would watch it any time of the year, really, but still, ultimately, I did like the the idea of the movie. I mean, yes, of course, it's a bit of a stretch, but still, ultimately, I can definitely say that I did like the Carlos, the actor who plays the villain. He's definitely really good in this. Of course, he's been a pretty much a good, really good actor anyway, so there's that. He does pretty well in anything he's in, really. But ultimately, I can definitely say that I liked 
reacting from everybody and even the supporting cast. The supporting cast does a pretty solid job as a whole, quite clearly, because they are trying to put some effort in, into this. I mean, just because it's low budget doesn't necessarily mean it has to be, ha it doesn't mean you have to have all from acting, obviously not, of course, I'm just saying. But anyway, I did like the whole idea that the director and everyone else were going with. Because I did like how the the actor, he plays this crazy person. I like the uh, story around this because it's a pretty wide premise. And I can say, yes, Kroloff is definitely the best thing about the movie. That's for everyone else. Uh, I give them props, I guess. They did what they had to do, of course. This has this has pretty good atmosphere. It does attempt to build the mood, of course. I definitely say that. And I mean, I guess they were trying. To, when I say they, I mean the people, of course. I guess they were trying to be creative with what they have. I'm trying to be creative with the story, really. And I mean, this film didn't really bore me whatsoever. But then again, I, I used to watch these kinds of movies when I was younger well i am a lot older than what you think i am folks oh definitely i'm just saying but yes it's definitely one of these types of movies where i can say it's a kind of an odd version of dr hector and mr hyde mm -hmm. uh, dr jackal yeah that's a part dr jackal and mr hyde it's kind of a really weird version of dr jackal and mr hyde it, it's, it's a weird version of that when you think about it but okay whatever it's a, it's a horror film. It's, it's supposed to be kind of weird. It's supposed to be kind of odd. So that's something, quite obviously. But anyway, I can definitely say that it, it has moments throughout the entire thing. I like the atmosphere, the entire thing, of course. Gotta make it moody, gotta make it strange. Oh yeah. I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7. Point zero out of ten for me. Oh boy. Yeah, they don't make them like they used to. They they don't. They really don't. Anyway, until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.